Hey there, this is Tatum. Today I'm going to be going over a new miner from Aradyne, the AT1500. And I'm just going to go over some quick out of the box specs and then we'll dive into the UI to see uh, what's hiding under the hood. Straight out of the box, we can see that it resembles uh, the build of the Antminer S19 slash S21 series. One of the first things that you'll probably notice straight out of the box is the PSU looks a bit different. The fans are external. They are also a little bit thicker. And the PSU also has two lights on it, input and fault. Another key difference with the PSU is that contrary to your standard APW12 that you might be used to, rather than uh, needing a dual C13 to plug it in, you need two C19s to plug in, and that's also on the same phase. Circling back to the fans, you'll notice that all the fans have external connections rather than under the top hat where the control board is. Side note on the fans, the chassis fans are standard 120 millimeter fans that the Antminer chassis use as well. Probably the biggest key difference and new feature that you'll see on this miner is this handle that is on the side. It is screwed in through the chassis and uh, I've found that in my transportation of this miner, it's fairly sturdy. On the faceplate here, you do have your standard uh, indicators such as your uh, alert and status. Then you also have your IP report, factory reset, ethernet, and also these control boards do take uh, SD cards for firmware. So without further ado, let's plug this in and dive into the user interface. You start out on the minor stats page where you can see your real-time hash rate, power draw, target hash rate, and target power. You also have these modes that I'll be showing in a little bit. And then it also shows you the efficiency. There's also a duration of last tuning. Right now it says NA just because I refreshed. And then of course you have your enable flash LEDs to locate a miner. You have your uptime. And then you have some status graphs here. You have a five hour hash rate chart. You also have a 500 second hash rate chart. Then you also have the board frequency and then also temperature of the control board, each hash board, and then the chip average and minimum and maximum temperature. And then also at the bottom, you have your fan speeds. So some of the pages that the UI has are pool configurations, obviously, where you can set your pools and the priority if you want to add an extra pool. You have network settings where you have information on your actual network that the miner is hooked up to. Then you have upgrade slash reboot where you can update the firmware. And if you click this button, set update from Aradyne, then it will pull the latest updated firmware from their website. You also have a reboot and also factory reset via UI. The system tab shows you the firmware version, the API, minor model, etc. It also shows you the serial numbers for the chassis, control board, each hash board. Account settings is where you can change your password. And then the support is where you can find the minor logs. What's really interesting about this UI with the minor logs is that you can select your daemon and also your uh, file type to receive your log in. And let's go ahead and choose GC Miner Log and Display. And this is what the basic Miner Log looks like for this Miner. One additional really cool thing that I find very interesting is that you can select filters for the logs. So let's select Error and Display and see where we have errors. And at the very bottom, you have Download All Logs where you can download everything that would be needed to know if you need to get external support and it all downloads into a zip file. Right now we're in eco mode. As you can see, there's also turbo mode and custom mode. What each of these modes do is target a certain metric that you want to aim for. Eco mode targets 90 terahash, turbo mode targets 180 terahash, then custom, you can target whatever terahash you want between 30 terahash and 180 terahash, or you can target a certain power draw. So as you see right now in eco mode at 90 terahash, we're pulling about 1900 watts and boasting an efficiency of around 21 joules per terahash. 
And I'm going to tune this into turbo so we can look and see how it looks and see what kind of uh, results we receive with that. So as you can see in the top corner, the status changed from normal to tuning. And you can see now where the target hash rate is 180 terahash. And this takes anywhere between 150 to 300 seconds, depending on the environments and how long it's been running, etc. So we're getting close to finishing up tuning here. And as you can see, the status just turned changed to normal. And the duration of last tuning did appear and it says 245.98 seconds. And if you come down to the 500 second hash rate chart, you can see how it dipped and then grew over time into uh, where we are right now. And the hash rate is 175, 177 right now. It will continue to go up a little bit, just trying to meet that target. And there you go, we're, we're getting close to that 180 terahash target right there. Now in turbo mode, we're targeting 180 terahash and we're pulling about 4788 watts, as you can see right here. That efficiency is right around 26.4-ish joules per terahash. You will see that fluctuate depending on what the real-time hash rate is. And through the API, you can pull average hash rate over a certain time period. And let's come down here and see where we are with the other metrics that we have. The frequency of the boards are tuned at about 13, 1400 megahertz. And we're seeing temperatures of each board about 53, 54, 61 Celsius. And the chip average is right around 60, 66, 75, somewhere around that range. And our fans are going full on speed right around 7100 RPM. So now let's very quickly go into the custom option and see what that looks like. So when you click custom, you can adjust either targeting hash rate or power. But let's say that we want to target 3100 watts. We'll simply select submit and it will start tuning again and we'll see the action happen on the uh, 500 second hash rate chart. It looks like it has finished tuning. Status has turned back to normal. As you can see, uh, it does look a little less than the actual target. That's just going to grow over time. There's a little bit of a lag time. Right now we're averaging out around 20, 22, 23 joules per terahash at uh, pulling about 2,800 watts, getting about 125-ish terahash. When you go down, you can see how the hash rate went down before it started tuning. Then we can look at all the frequencies that it's tuned to. So that was a basic overview of the user interface of the Ardine AT1500. I really think that this is a super cool user interface and a new feature in stock mining firmware to have this much ability to customize what you want to pull from the miner. But that's about it for right now. Thanks for watching.